With this walkthrough, I'm going to show you different ways that you can insert a clip into a video that you're editing. On my timeline here, I've got four video clips, right? One, two, three, four. And I actually want to replace this one with this footage of a waterfall. Uh, here, let's grab something else that actually has something on it. So let's say I wanted to start after the clapboard goes off and I want it to end right where he blinks. All right. So I want that to go in here. There's different ways that you can actually get that into this. But notice what's going to happen is if I just drag and drop it over, it doesn't extend that one. I would have to drag it and then slide this down and do that. So there's actually an easier way that you can do this. What you can do is click on the image with your mouse and just drag it over here. So what I'm doing is I'm dragging it from the source viewer, which is this one, into the timeline viewer, which is the one on the right. If you're not seeing it, it could be because you have your inspector open, which is this one here, and you, maybe it looks like this. Just click on it and that'll bring the uh, timeline viewer. So the right one is showing anything that's in the timeline. So what you do is click on it, drag and drop it over, and you see this pop out here on the right, and it's gonna give you different types. So for example, I'm gonna, click off of it again. And so let's say I move my playhead right to where it starts and I go and I click insert. It's going to actually place it between those two videos, but I don't actually want to do that. What I want with mine is I'm going to drag and drop it and I want this ripple to overwrite. So watch what that does is it overwrites the one there and it extends the length of everything behind it. So that's kind of the way you can go with that. Just a couple of the other ones here. So insert, we already mentioned, overwrite is gonna actually overwrite it, at, but without extending it. Fit to fill is actually is going to, so notice that this one's shorter than all the rest of them. So a fit to fill is actually going to shrink it so that it actually fills that small space. And keep in mind, this will just the speed of the clip as well. Place on top, just places it above what I kind of did when I first started showing you. And append to end is going to put it at the end of the video clip. So that's pretty much how that works. The trick is that people probably don't realize is dragging it from the one viewer over to the other viewer in order to get these pop-ups. You'd think you might have to actually drag it down, but that's not the case. So hopefully you found that useful. That is different ways that you can insert a clip into a video that you are editing.